Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh To our brothers Who has not got a chance Or a mercy from Allah to become Muslims Because being a Muslim is a mercy from Allah Because it's Allah who guides you So Allah has not guided them So may the peace and blessings of God be upon you and may Allah show you Salawatu alayhi wa baraka ala alihi wa sahabihi wa man nasarahu wa wala It's always a pleasure to thank and praise Allah tabarak wa ta'ala The most gracious, the most merciful Peace and blessings be upon the universal messenger of Allah tabarak wa ta'ala The universal messenger Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam May also the peace of Allah be upon the prophets that were before Prophet Muhammad sallallahu from Adam <laughs> Our brother you are most welcomed in Kenya You know when I was told by my organizers that I'm going to have a debate with brother Isang a very tough man from Nigeria, I was also very shaky, <laughs> trembling. I thought things will be great, but I wonder, and I want to give you the message so that you can take this message over to Nigeria. The depths of the waters of Kenya is not small. <laughs> First of all, he spoke about Jesus being the Son of God in John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he brought his only begotten Son, that whoever shall believe in him shall not perish but have eternal life. As Muslims, we don't believe in that. Allah says, وَيُنذِرَ الَّذِينَ قَالُوا تَخَضَ اللَّهُ وَلَدًا مَا لَهُمْ بِهِ مِنْ عِلْمٍ وَلَا لِآبَائِهِمْ كَبُرَتْ كَلِمَةً تَخْرُجُوا مِنْ أَفْوَاهِمْ إِنْ يَقُولُونَ إِلَّا كَذِبًا That is another topic, Jesus being the Son of God. As Muslims, we know that Jesus is not the Son of God. Allah says, those who say that Jesus is the Son of God, they have no knowledge. They are illiterate. And the Bible, not a single person who has knowledge from the book of Genesis, from the book of Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, the book of Joshua, to Malachi 4 verse 6, 23,142 verses, 929 chapters, 39 books, the Old Testament is complete. The New Testament, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts of Apostles, to Revelation 21, 20, 22, 21, not a single verse from a person who has knowledge has ever said that Jesus is Son of God. John 3.16, John states that Jesus, Jesus Jesus, son of God. In the book of Acts of Apostles 4.13, they came to discover that John and Peter, they had no knowledge. This is not our topic. <laughs> our topic is about the comforter. Let me go straight to the point. He said, Jesus said, you ask everything in my name. Matthew 6 verse 6, Jesus says when you pray, pray like this. Our Father in heaven, follow high your name. Glorified be your name. So Jesus is saying, when you are praying, pray like this. Glorify the name of Jesus. Pastor Isan from Nigeria comes and tells us, glorify the name of Jesus. You'll know that one by yourself. Our topic is the comforter. I am very surprised. Because our brother sang has put a mix up a mix up because the knowledge I think is not yet but the depth of Kenya is not small the waters of Kenya 
they are shallow. He mixed the Holy Ghost. He mixed the Spirit of Truth. He mixed Jesus everything, my friend. This is another thing. Let me start teaching you step by step. He talked about Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam being mentioned as Ahmad. He said Ahmad or Muhammad. My brother, it's English. It's just the consensus of the meaning. If I say water in English, maji in Kiswahili. In my language, bio, in your language, the Oga language, you know what it's called. What is in Lake Nafkuru never changes. So Ahmad and Muhammad is all the same. In Sahih al-Bukhari, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, I have five names. Our topic is not about the names. Our topic is about the comforter. Who is the comforter? And I'm very, very surprised. He came here speaking English. When you want to speak English, you should know the past tense, the present tense, the future tense, and the present perfect continuous tense. Don't put the tenses in where we want. The verse in 1426, the verse in 1426 does not speak about the comforter. It speaks of a different issue. Jesus said, the Spirit, the, 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 the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit and the Comforter are two different types of things. The Comforter is the Spirit of Truth. If you read in your Bible, the book of John 14, 24, it says the Spirit of the 14, uh, 14, I think 16. It says the Comforter is the Spirit of Truth. When you can go down, it says the Spirit, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost. The Holy Spirit, he has his job. The Holy Spirit, what is his job? Is to let and remind you. Is to remind you. Is reminding you. The Holy Spirit is different. Because you have to know and learn how many spirits of God are there. In the book of Revelation 4 verse 5, there are seven spirits of God. Seven. The Holy Spirit has got his attributes. The Holy Spirit has got its job. His job is only to remind you. But what is the job of the spirit of truth? If you read in the book of, uh, I think I'll be reading Ophed. If I go just like this, you tell me, stop. Your reading is not there. These Muslims are great. This side, the Quran. This side, the Bible. Here, the Hadith. Here, about dunya. <laughs> the verse says like this. I have so much in the book of John 16 verse 12. Let's go to the criteria. Let's go to the attributes. Let's go to the characteristics of this spirit of truth. The Holy Ghost, different. Him, the Holy Ghost, his job is to remind you. The verse says, I will send the Holy Ghost. So this Holy Ghost, even the time of David, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit was there. If you read in your books, the book of Mark 12, 36, even David spoke from his mouth in the strength or in the power of the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit was there. Even Mary, if you read in the book of Luke 135, the Holy Spirit came on top of Mary so that she can give birth to this man they call Jesus. So the Holy Spirit was there. That is why I say, when you want to read something, when you want to speak, you have to know the tenses. The past tense, future tense, present perfect continuous tense. Jesus says, I have so many things to tell you, but I am going. But when the spirit of truth, the comforter, the spirit of truth, the comforter, will come so the spirit of truth was not there the time of jesus so muhammad was there muhammad he was given the quran by jesus that means no why should you base things in english that you want to put on your own yourself this is not the oga english in kenya in kenya we are speaking pure english my friend <laughs> jesus says when i go the spirit of truth 
will come. John 16 verse 12. The spirit of truth will come. And the spirit of truth will guide you. So this spirit of truth is not there the time of Jesus. So when Jesus goes, the spirit of truth will come. When the spirit of truth comes, after Jesus has gone, he will be our guidance. So there is no other guidance right now except the comforter, the spirit of truth, not Jesus. His time is over, according to that verse. If you want, put a cellotape on it. <laughs> the verse continues and says, what he hears, what he hears, he will tell you. What he hears, he will tell you. So this spirit of truth, the comforter, will hear and will speak. Show me that Holy Spirit, that ears and eyes, my friend. So this is the Holy this is the spirit of truth. So we have the spirit of truth and we have the Holy, the, the Holy Ghost. Secondly, he said, Muhammad was with the disciples. My friend, why do you say that Muhammad was with the disciples? Second, Jesus gave the Quran to Muhammad. I don't know. Even a standard two people from the Bible school cannot speak such things. Muhammad came after Jesus. Secondly, he says, where in the Bible did Jesus say, I will, I will send Muhammad or Muhammad? In the Old Testament, from the book of Genesis to the book of Malachi, there is not a single verse by the name Jesus. If you have, baptize me now. Behold, the virgin will give birth to a son. Behold, the virgin will give birth to a son. This is a prophecy. So the prophecy is given, but the name is not given. So the name of Jesus appears in the Injil, in the Injil, in the gospel that he was given. So the name of Muhammad appears in the Bible, in, in the, appears in the Quran, the book that he was revealed by Allah. Ta'ala. So why should you mix things, man? Another one. He said that Jesus... Jesus name was Muhammad. How can Muhammad be Jesus? And how can Jesus be Muhammad? The Holy Quran chapter 3 verse 81. Allah takes a covenant from all the prophets. From Adam to Jesus himself. He takes a covenant and says, I, when I give you the book and hikmah, and then I will bring a prophet and you shall be witnesses of this prophet and you should help him how should they help him they should proclaim about the coming and the advent of prophet muhammad they should tell the people that muhammad is coming so the guidance the god the guidance the one who will guide us is no more jesus in the book of Mark, in the book of john 16 verse 12 jesus says i have so much to tell you but you cannot take it no more but when the spirit of truth comes he will guide you to the truth he he will take from mine and he will give you how will he take it from him jesus he says he will receive from what jesus yes every prophet receives even in the book of luke 18 well the book of matthew 18 verse 5 jesus said if you don't if you are not like these children then you will never enter paradise and what you receive from me what i receive from you is what you receive from me it's the words in the Bible, my friend. So well, receiving, receiving means the word. Secondly, or thirdly, why did Jesus speak about the advent of the comforter that will hear and will talk? He will speak and he will hear. So this comforter has ears and has a mouth. Why? He knows Christ. Christ, the Jews themselves know that Muhammad is, to, Muhammad is to come. If you read in the Quran, in the hadith of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu they know about Abdullah ibn Salama. He was a Jew. Christ is a Greek word. In English, anointed one to be a prophet. In, 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 in Hebrew, Masihi. Check out the verse in the book of John 7.25. They were looking for Jesus. Jesus came to Jerusalem. 
He stood in front of the people of Jerusalem. He started to speak. And then the people of Jerusalem, one of the people of Jerusalem said, Is this not the man that they are looking for so that they should kill him? And he is still here and speaking openly. Then the congregation, the Jews said, we know this man, he is Christ, and we know where he has come. But when the Christ comes, no one knows where he will come from. So they know this man is Jesus, but they are expecting another Christ, another Messiah, another Savior, another Comforter. Who is that? Muhammadun sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It continued. Because the Jews, they heard about Jesus. They heard about Jesus being the prophet. They, they, they heard about Jesus speaking about the prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa So the Jews came again to Jesus. They asked him a question. Open your Bibles, the book of John 119. They said, stand up, Sheikh Salim. Stand up, let's give them an example. Stand up, uh, Qadi. John 119, you're opening your Bibles. Thank you very much. <laughs> they, came to they came to Jesus and said, Are you John the Baptist? Jesus said, No. Are you Elia? Jesus said, No. They said, Are you that prophet? Which prophet? Come back here and answer me which prophet it is. That prophet. So they're expecting another prophet. That is why in the book of John 731, what did they do? Those who had faith believed in Jesus. And they said, the miracles that this man Jesus is doing, will that prophet that will come after Jesus do more miracles than this Jesus? So the Jews are expecting another, 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 another prophet. Who is he? Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He said, well, in quantum theory, Allah says, if you have a doubt to Prophet Muhammad, وسلم, if you have a doubt of what we have revealed unto you, then you should ask the people who had read the books before us. Which books did they read? They did not read the Bible, my brother. They read the Torah. They did read Injil and they read the Zabur. They did not read the Bible according to Matthew. The, the Gospel according to Matthew. They did not read these books. They did not read the Gospel or the Injil according to Matthew. No! They read the Injil of Isa alayhi salam. They read the Torah of Musa alayhi salam. That is another topic. If you want the topic, the authenticity of the Bible and the Quran, come on the table. We are here. Very fresh and lovely. The Holy Spirit is different from the Spirit of Truth. In the book of John, 16 verse 12 jesus says let me go back to the point again jesus says i am going i am going and as i am going i have so much to tell you so jesus has so much to tell us so he's going with some words that he is going he has to tell us the word of god secondly he said that comforter will abide with us forever. <laughs> what does Jesus mean, abiding? Secondly, he said, he will be in us. And he will be in Jesus. My brother, being in Jesus is not a big deal. It's not a big deal. Jesus says in the book of John 17 21 he says so that you can be in me and me in the father and you in the father so that we can be all one so you in the father Jesus in the father so that we and the father and Jesus becomes John 17 21 I'm not lying 
Read the Bible. <laughs> then why don't you stand here and say, you know, Sheikh Ibrahim also is in God. It will be nice and lovely. Only Jesus. The Jews expected a comforter, expected a prophet. And for surely, we Muslims, we know that that prophet is Prophet Muhammad sallallahu Even Paul, even Paul himself knew that there is a prophet that who will come from Arabia. If you read in the book of Galatians 1 verse 17, I did not come down from Jerusalem and I went up to Arabia to look for that prophet. So he knows that in Arabia there will be a prophet. So the time of the time of the Bible, they cannot write the name of Jesus in the Old Testament because he was not born. So his name appears in the New Testament. In the book of Revelation 19 verse 11. The angel said, Revelation is what ha has to happen after Jesus has gone. This is a, a prophecy that will happen years to come. The angel said the heavens opened and a white horse, Burak, will come from heaven. And the one who will be riding the horse, his name will be the truthful Al Sadiqul Amin. Trustworthy? Trust? He's full of trust. Al Sadiqul Amin. That is the names, the attributes of Prophet Muhammad. Did Jesus ride a, a horse? No, Jesus rode a donkey. You read in the book of John 12, 12, and then he came into Jerusalem. But Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, he rode what? A horse. So the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was prophesized by Jesus. So when you come back here, you have to reason one thing, and you have to bring some verses to differentiate or to put these things together, because the spirits of God are five, are seven. I mean. The seven spirits of God in the book of Revelation. Let him check. 4 verse 5. <laughs> seven. In, the, in John 14, 26, it speaks about the Holy Spirit. In John 16 verse 12 to 14, it speaks about the spirit of truth. Who will hear? Who will speak? Which spirit of truth? will speak and if he has to hear he has to have ears and if he has to speak he has to have a mouth like my mouth where did he speak to you statement police station if you want to defend yourself the high court there <laughs> if you want statements and giving us stories the media here we want the verse where did the holy spirit speak to you no, the, 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 the spirit of truth, the comforter. For us, he spoke to us. Why? He was a prophet, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah says, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا كَافَةً لِلنَّاسِ بَشِيرًا وَنَذِيرًا وَلَكِنْ أَكْثَرْ نَاسِ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ 34th chapter of the Holy Quran, verse 28, Surah Al-Sabba. Allah says, I have sent you, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, to all mankind. To all mankind. Bashiran, so that you can give them glad tidings. If they do good, they enter Jannah. But most of mankind does not know. So for him, Pastor Isang or Evangelist Isang, standing here, Allah has given him a name. Don't say I'm abusing, I'm not insulting. Allah says, Wala tasubu ladina yad'una min duni Allahi fa yasubu Allah adwan biqayri al-ilmi. I am not insulting, I am just speaking of the truth. Allah has given you a word. If you deny Muhammad, who are you? Surah Al-Rad, 13th chapter of the Holy Quran, verse 43. And the ones who has disbelieved on Allah, the ones who disbelieved in God, say that you, Muhammad, you are not. So if you say Muhammad is not a prophet, you are. I am waiting for you here. Thank you.